Hello, my name is Andrew Campbell, and this is episode 11 of Hide and Seek with Wireshark. And on today's episode, I'm going to be showing you a, a technique to determine if somebody is doing some discovery on your network, if they're doing like a scan um, and doing some general discovery. So in my example here, I'm going to be using NetDiscover. And in Wireshark, we're going to be seeing live a, a what a net discover looks like and I'm going to be doing, doing a couple of things here I'm going to be using input output graphs but I'm also going to be configuring a specific setting in our preferences regarding ARPS to be able to observe and get some information that something strange is happening on our network so first things first let's head over to our to our Wireshark go to edit and head on down to preferences it opens up a window and we're going to go and look at our protocols. Open that up and as you know with Wireshark we have a ton of protocols. But what specifically I want to look at ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. And if we keep going down, we can see right around here we've got our ARP. And what is really neat in Wireshark is that we can actually have a setting that it says detect ARP request storms. Okay? which is going to basically label a ARP storm for us if it occurs on our network. So what we're going to do is we're going to say OK. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a capture. And I'm going to open up our input-output graph. And we can see the traffic happening there and I'm going to adjust it a little bit and I've got all packets set right now now this is just normal traffic on our in our lab environment but what I'm going to do is with a separate machine I'm going to run NetDiscover and I'm going to turn on ARPS so we can see it happening so we've got green the green line there is the input output for our ARPS. So here I'm going to start our, our net discover and I'm just running a general net discover so it's going to be pretty noisy. And in both windows we can see that ARPS are happening. <laughs> but take a look at the green line. A tremendous amount of the traffic that's happening on our network is in relation to ARPS. So we'll just let that run like a couple more seconds. Obviously if you see something that looks like like this, there's a there's a sign that a discovery on your network is happening. And I've specifically chosen a just a general net discover which is very noisy because it's actually going through all of the, the types of networks that may might be happening. So if we look over uh, 113 network 16 17 19 and those are nowhere near what my network actually is but you can see that a lot of that that garbage packets are actually are actually happening and you can see that there's a ton of noise is happening so let's let's go ahead and stop this and so we've 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 stopped this capture and so we've got our total of uh, 101,000 packets uh, and we're doing some we're looking at it right now we can see the total amount of traffic uh, input output here we know that there is there is an ARP uh, situation going on right here so there's a pretty good sign that there was a some scanning or precursor to something happening some discovery was was occurring but remember back at the beginning of the video we actually looked at uh, a configuration in our preferences if we go down here and we click on this item here it's going to do some summarization for us and right away let's take a look over here an ARP packet storm detected and we scroll down we can we already know that there's going to be a ton of packets being created but take a look at all of those packets that are are set here
So there you go. This is a, a quick demonstration on using input output graph using our edit and preferences and going to our protocols and making a specific setting on our ARP preferences so that when we when a situation like an ARP request storm happens, we can look at our summary here and actually get a, a prognosis that something abnormal actually happened. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a have a great one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.